Today we're doing a review of the SALT gun, which can be purchased from saltsupply.com. Retailing for under $350, SALT is a new idea in home protection that can both protect your family from an intruder, as well as the fatal accidents that all too often accompany a traditional firearm within the home. Each SALT gun comes with a nice protective case, which also has the option at the top to be lockable. Let's take a look and see what we get as part of this kit. And I do want to point out, I did request an extra set of test rounds for this review. Besides the case, each kit includes one SALT gun, 10 rounds of both the live and practice rounds, as well as two CO2 cylinders. These are the standard CO2 cylinders found in most air gun or airsoft accessories. Instead of lead, salt rounds are filled with a combination of powdered chemical agents formulated to cause temporary distress without permanent harm. Among the active ingredients is OC, naturally derived from ghost peppers. As someone who is not comfortable using traditional guns, I appreciate the fact that they color-coded the rounds to make it as simple as possible. The white and blue rounds are the practice rounds and they're filled with baby powder. The orange and blue rounds are actually the live rounds and they're filled with the chemical. So how big are they? Here's a panning shot of both rounds next to a dime for a size comparison. The rounds come in an easy to open container that are labeled as well. And according to the company, unused rounds have a shelf life of about four years. Looking at the live rounds, I want to point out both the gun and the rounds are made here in the USA. Now let's take a closer look at the salt gun, which is made of a combination of steel, aluminum, and plastic. Looking at the front of the gun, we have the CO2 cap, a rail located at the bottom, as well as the barrel. Installing the CO2 cylinder is easy. Remove the CO2 cap, install the cylinder, then replace the cap. Next, we're going to look at a very important piece of the gun, the safety button. This obviously, when pushed in, prevents the user from pulling the trigger. This works well. I did, however, have a conversation with the company. I felt it took a lot of effort to actually press and depress the button. It wasn't something you can easily do with one hand, but it's definitely something you can do. They made it very easy. Push to fire or push for safety. Next, we're going to look at the magazine release button as well as the magazine. Each magazine holds about seven rounds. The magazine comes in and out with ease, and it gives you the option to use multiple clips when needed. The spring system allows you to easily load rounds. In case you're really bad at keeping count, the side of the gun has a magazine window to let you know how many rounds you have left. Now we're going to look at all the steps needed to use the gun. I do want to point out the fact that this gun was developed for indoor use. So anytime it's used outside, you're going to be dealing with external factors like wind, which may degrade the rounds if you're using the live ones. A very important fact is when you insert the cylinder, the first time you pull your trigger, it actually activates the cylinder. So the first time you pull it, a round doesn't exit the gun. Here we see I'm discharging rounds to demonstrate the impact of the rounds, which can travel up to 320 feet per second as well as the cloud that's created once the impact occurs. This has been a very interesting product to review. Unfortunately, I feel this is a product you can only give your opinion on if you test it to the fullest extent. And what I mean by that is you need to strike an individual multiple times so they can react to the impact of the rounds as well as the chemicals in the live rounds. Personally, I can tell you during testing, I was physically affected by the live rounds. I was about 10 to 15 feet away. My eyes were affected, my nose, as well as my breathing from 10 to 15 feet away. So you can only imagine that accompanied with the impact of a round actually hitting you. 
If you look at the pictures here, this is something that was sent to me by the company, which shows one round hitting a subject. If you move to the right, you can see the aftermath of that round. If you move to the right once more, to me it looks like the round a day or two later. So yes, I do think the gun is worth looking into. It's an American-made product, it's a smart product, and it's a product for people like myself. And by that I mean someone who's not comfortable with a traditional gun. Someone who has children who doesn't want their kids around a gun in the house. Would I trust my parents with a traditional gun? Absolutely not. They're not gun people. Would I trust them with assault gun? 100%.